All right, this is the, um, wow, it's the 18 month update from my L3 through L5 lumbar fusion. I had that procedure in May of 2021 and I can't believe that it's November of 2022. That's, that's hard to believe. It, in some ways it feels like it was just two weeks ago when I had the surgery. It does leave a little bit of an impression on you. Um, so the interesting thing was, you know, I really thought that this update here at 18 months was going to be just kind of like, you know, last month where not a whole lot to report. I was kind of thinking 18 months was the real milestone kind of marker uh, because even, you know, the most optimistic, um, you know, kinds of predictions um, from the experts would suggest that, you know, by a year and a half, as far as like nerve healing and tingling and odd sensations and that kind of stuff that, you know, you're going to be maxed out for sure by 18 months. So I kind of felt like, okay, I'd probably going to be about the same or close to what I was at 17 months, hit 18 months, and then there it is. Um, and that's the way it was looking up until, oh, about a week and a half ago. Um, you know, I was kind of doing my thing, like in past reports, you know, found some good shoes, you know, doing the hiking, um, doing the elliptical, doing the elliptigo bike, push-ups, pull-ups, you know, really starting to get ramped up. And about a week and a half ago, I had kind of a setback um, that I'm hoping is, you know, not major. Um, I had something similar, you may remember, in, oh, this was like in February of this year where I had kind of overdone some stuff maybe and had an increase in symptoms again. And it really, uh, as a lot of you know, my, my right foot um, has the dysthesias, the odd sensations, the numbness, and that's been pretty consistent even since you know, before the surgery and certainly after the surgery, I made it get a little better. And I've kind of blocked it out and I, with the right shoes and, you know, kind of when I go hiking and stuff, if I'm, if I'm out there for a while, actually my feet feel a little bit better. And I had a little bit in the left foot, but like what happened in February, uh, about a week and a half ago, um, same thing kind of happened. So now my, my left foot, geez, a few days ago, my left foot was feeling pretty bad kind of, you know, burning pain, um, odd sensations, more numbness, um, stuff in the shin, you know, top of the, well, kind of where your shin meets your foot, um, I guess top of the ankle, or I don't know exactly sure how to describe that, but um, all that stuff, my left foot got really flared up. And, you know, I kind of allowed myself a few minutes of anxiety and panic, but then thought, okay, this happened before. It's hard to kind of remember whether this was worse than what happened, you know, back in February. Um, but it, it was pretty bad. Um, at work, I was back to wearing my work Crocs um, instead of my regular shoes. And I would say over the last couple of days, um, it's gotten a little bit better. It hasn't stopped me. I mean, I feel like moving is the key because I mean, I get to this in a minute, but I think I know maybe what happened. Uh, but like today I went on a, you know, a five, six mile hike with a, like 1500 feet of climbing and it felt okay. I mean, a little worse than it normally does. Um, and like right now, you know, I can feel it in the left foot, but it's not, it doesn't have the burning and the pain and stuff like it did, especially a couple days ago. My right foot is kind of doing what it normally does. I mean, it's, it's that I know at 18 months that I'm still going to have these feelings in my right foot. And that's probably going to be, you know, that's going to be permanent. Um, but it's not debilitating. So that I can get used to, but the, the left foot stuff, I mean, when I have those together, then it does get a little bit trickier. So these last couple of days, maybe it's a little bit better. I'm continuing my, my walking and hiking within reason. Um, like today when I hiked, I did not have to pull out my hiking Crocs, which I used to have to pull out because my feet would feel so bad when I was kind of really getting back into the swing of things. And those Crocs, the, the, the off-road Crocs or the hiking Crocs feel really good, just like normal Crocs. And when I wear normal Crocs, my feet feel pretty good. Um, 
So I didn't have to pull those out, so that's still a, you know, a good sign in my book that it's not that bad. Uh, I think what happened, uh, you know, I'm, I've been doing push-ups, you know, kind of slowly building those up, and to me, those are about as safe as you can be, because you're, if you're doing the push-up the right way, you're in a plank position, your back is straight, and actually, it's really good for your core, because you are holding that plank as you're doing the push-ups, and I'm up to, like, about 150 a day, I mean, I used to do, like, 400, and I'm slowly building up, but I wanted to make sure I wasn't lopsided in my mus in my musculature um, because we, obviously when you do push-ups you're doing chest and triceps and I was getting back into pull-ups chin-ups so I could work my back more uh, my my biceps just so everything is kind of evened out and that was going pretty well I was doing that at the gym N not just free pull-ups but you know the assists I wanted to build up slowly and, oh, two Tuesdays ago when I was doing it, I was, you know, I was doing a set on the way down. I kind of let myself hang a little bit because it just felt really good to stretch out my back. I have not stretched out my back like that since the surgery. It just felt really good. Kind of hung there for a little bit. And I got to tell you, for, for a few minutes time after doing that, walking around the gym, I felt the best I had felt. Like I felt almost normal. I didn't feel like any symptoms in my feet. So stretching it out must have, you know, relieved a little bit of that nerve stuff um, or did something. And, and for, a, for a little while there, and actually jogged around the basketball court we have inside the gym, and I felt about as normal as I felt in years. Now, on the negative side, um, shortly thereafter is when all these symptoms started. So my hunch is that by hanging, things moved around, whether it's some scar tissue, whatever, um, something got irritated. The nerves going to my feet really got irritated. So I did contact my surgeon, who I don't even really see anymore because, you know, after a certain amount of time, he said, well, you know, unless something's going on, I mean, really, there's no need for follow-up at this point. Everything looks good. The fusion's taking, and you know the hardware's good. So I did. I did send him a message, <clears throat> and told him that you know I really felt like I had gone backwards, you know, big time after this. And you know he said that you know certainly the activity you know, could have aggravated it, and he really does not think it has anything to do with the fusion because the fusion was looking so good. Um, but he wants to keep an eye on it. He didn't even recommend you know any imaging at this point. Um, he'll get some if it persists, uh, but he thinks that it will kind of, I'll get back to my, my baseline, which again isn't perfect, but it's better than what it's feeling like now. And, <clears throat> you know, the good thing about doing these videos, it allows me to have a record of, I can kind of go back and see for myself when some of these things happened in the past. And, um, you know, looking back at February, I mean, it took me from that incident, it took me a few months to kind of get back to doing the hiking and and really feeling better again. This nerve stuff, it's so touchy. And maybe this is just, you know, what needs to happen for me to learn what my limits are. It's not to say that I can't do, you know, pull-ups or chin-ups or something, but you are, you know, hanging and your body's going to, it's almost like, you know, being like an inversion table, except you're not inverted, you're, but you are hanging and your, your back's gonna get kind of elongated there. And, you know, it's interesting because, you know, talking to my physical therapist and my surgeon about, you know, doing the, the inversion table, some people say, if you have a fusion, that you should never, ever do that. And some people say, oh no, that's really good, you can stretch out your back. I have no idea. Um, but in a way, hanging like that, I mean, certainly things are going to get stretched out a little bit. So my guess is that that had something to do with it. I don't think the fusion got destroyed by me doing that. Um, I think it's probably fine. But maybe, uh, you know, I'm going to have to modify and, you know, if I do pull-ups or something, maybe just do much lighter weight, maybe even just use the, you know, the lats, you know, the machine and just do lighter weight where I can just sit. I'm not hanging, do lighter weight, whatever it takes. Um, 
so yeah, that that was kind of disappointing, a little scary. Um, but I've had so many ups and downs in this process that you just can't get too high and you can't get too low. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at at this point. Um, I will do another update. I was kind of debating whether or not I would keep doing this every month now that it's been a year and a half. But, you know, I have gotten a lot of comments and questions and feedback from folks. So I think people are, I know I found it helpful when other people did these videos. So um, given kind of what's happened, you know, I'm going to keep doing it for at least immediate future. Uh, again, if you're going through it or you have one coming up or you've been recovering longer than I have and you have some some good ideas, um, any of those things, I'd love to hear it. Um, it's been really interesting corresponding with several of you um, over these months or over this year and a half. Um, and it's, you know, this is a tough process and the more help you can, you can have around you, the better, even if it's, you know, via YouTube and videos and corresponding that way. So, um, let me know how you're doing. I will continue to do the same and I'll see you next month. So take care everybody until then.